we're, we're talking about dip pants, guys. Dip pants. That's D-I-P pants. <laughs> pants you wear when you eat dip. All right. But have you ever been to like a party and you're like, oh, maybe I'll meet someone who will, you know, touch my genitals. And then you eat some chip with some like French onion dip and you drop it on your pants. Now you've got dip pants, but not the good kind, not the ones that I want to give you. Uh, now you've got pants on your dip or you got dips on your pants. And uh, now you're like, oh, I can't hook up with anybody because I got French <laughs> onion on my dick. What I propose is dip pants. That is uh, basically just your regular pants, but we dip it in Teflon so that the dip just kind of rolls off. And uh, I know you're thinking, Cam, this sounds like <laughs> this sounds like a, a million dollar idea, and you would be right because that's how much it costs a million dollars for one pair of dip pants. As long as we can get one guy to buy it, I feel like we've accomplished something. You know. <laughs> Um, and you can only use them for dip. It won't work with any other foods like soups or milk or anything. doesn't work. <laughs> Just dip. Uh, it could be bean dip. It could be French onion dip. You know, if you dipped maybe a sandwich into some soup and then dripped it on your pants, it could work. But it has to be dip functional, you know. Um, it only a works that. It could be a French dip. Yeah, but again, you have to dip it first. It can't. You can't, like, fall from the sandwich and then you get some, like, mustard on your uh, leg or whatever. It won't come off then, only if it's dip. <laughs> and, um, okay. It only comes in purple, also. Several questions. <laughs> One, leather pants. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard of leather pants. <laughs> I'm like, Two, is the inside also covered in Teflon? That is the great question. We've actually discussed this here at the headquarters of Dip Pants, Inc., and uh, Rothenberger, and um, Who the, the inside fuck is, is Rothenberger? Fleece. That's one of our silent partners, but not so not silent. Not very silent if his name's in the, name's in the fucking <laughs> it's in the mess. I just said it. I just said it. So yeah, the inside is fleece, so it's like pajama. It feels like pajama yeah. pants. It's very comfy, because that's when you're eating dip, usually you're in your worst. You okay, know? Okay. So you want to feel comfortable. Have you focused, tested any of this? Oh, yeah. We've done lots of clinical trials. Uh, tens of people I've tried them on. <laughs> no, and, uh, how many of them say, are infertile now? Oh, all of them. Yeah. All, and okay. generations. The temperature there, inside those fleece lined, effectively yes. plastic exterior pants is going to be furnace levels in terms of testicular health. Oh, yeah. Their bloodline won't reproduce for maybe five generations now. But it really just, they you don't reproduce, your options. their bloodline won't reproduce at all. No, I won't. Probably. You know, you really got to weigh your options. Do you want kids or do you want to, you know, not have dip on your pants? What kind of parties do these test subjects go to that a little dip on the pants <laughs> is going to dissuade a willing participant from touching their groin area? I'm sorry. I'm not a Neanderthal like you guys. I, I don't sleep with people who have dip on their pants. Okay, And I wouldn't be so crazy as to present myself with dip on my pants. Uh, well, that I apologize, I have lots of and I must be a Philistine for not living in your pristine world. <laughs> Cast <laughs> yourself out, <laughs> thy Philistine. Did you patent the chemical mixture to get Teflon that only works on name brand sauces? Yeah, uh, patent or and doesn't work on the Sneak into Dupont and just kind of write down some stuff and then hand that to a nerd. Um, that's more of what I did. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to hear any more about your pants. I want to hear about this uh, break-in <laughs> at DuPont. Holy shit. <laughs> that was me and my three guys, my three buddies, Jack, Chase, and uh, Jennifer. Yeah, we all broke in, and uh, we were made sure to wear camouflage. And by that, I mean we just wore shirts with uh, John Cena's face on them. And, uh, and then uh, they kind of just left the forces over. training right there. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we thought we were going to have to, like, kill a bunch of dudes, but there wasn't anybody there. We just went to the break room. They had some scale donuts, and then they had the whole chemical makeup of C8 PFOS chemicals that they <laughs> produced there. You're using PFOS chemicals. Yeah, that's what Teflon is, yeah. I like but Teflon's that. a catchier word for it. <laughs> I like that you're inventing pants for the person that's concerned about dripping dip on their pants, but they're not concerned about <laughs> anything else because they're eating dip. <laughs> 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 and they're wearing PFAS chemicals around their junk. Yes. I'm creating a product for the modern man, for me. And like I said, it just takes one person to believe in us and pay the $1 million for the one pair of pants. And I think we got a good business idea, guys. 
Have you considered designing the pants to camouflage with the dip? So if the dip lands on the pants, it just blends in? Uh, we have considered it. You know, we tried it in a couple of countries, uh, small markets, you know, Brazil, Peru, Switzerland. Yeah, it just didn't work out, really. There's a lot of fires for some reason. Something to do with the fabric. I don't know. And do you wear these pants to said party or do you excuse yourself when you're going to eat chips or <laughs> dip? Once you buy the pants, you can do whatever you want with them, you know. You know, I would probably just wear them. It's going to be the easiest way. But, you know, sometimes you don't want to be sweating your balls off. You're going to be going to a concert first, maybe. You don't want to have that fleece, you know. So maybe just pack a bag and keep your dip pants in there. You never know when you're going to run into a bowl of dip. So just have them at the ready. What about, like, on pants that go over your normal pants? I like that. That way, yeah. when you're done, you can just, like, whip off your dip pants. <laughs> like, like breakaway off. pants, yeah. I like it very much. Yeah, I'll have to take uh, oh, it. Go flying all over the place. Oh, no. Yeah. Didn't yeah. stick to the pants. That's right. I'll be bringing that up to our R&R uh, &R department in the next meeting. Oh, you have an R&R &R department? I mean, we have a guy. It sounded like he stole Roger. everything. <laughs> we have a guy named Roger Ramenstein, from aforementioned in the masthead. He's our R&R &R department. <laughs> we know his whole name now. <laughs> And he can't be a silent partner if he's actively working in the, the venture. He's a not so silent partner as of now. <laughs> Updates are still coming out, more information is to come. I'm also pretty sure I changed his last name, but. <laughs> <laughs> Business dip pants in case you get cocktail sauce at a fancy dinner and you're like, oh no, I'm in front of the CEO, but like corduroys. What about shorts? Dip shorts. So yeah, you can. It's you just. It's one pair of pants. They come in purple. <laughs> <laughs> Why purple? It's my favorite color. And um, that's it. Um, but you get one pair of pants. They're in purple. It's whatever material we have kind of laying around at the time when we make it, and then we dip it in the PFAS chemicals, also known as Teflon. And now uh, your pants are dip free. I thought you said they were made of fleece. What do you mean? Any material? No, the inside, the inside is made of fleece. But like the outside, it could be like, you know, newspapers or just You're like you know, towels and rags. And yeah, so you know, the newspapers but there's going to be staple fleece to the inside so that your leggies are warm, you know? All right, I do appreciate your willingness to come onto a podcast to try to get your business out there. But the Better yeah. Business Bureau is going to be on your ass. I like to respectfully disagree, you know, agree to disagree. I think the Better Business Bureau will get behind their product once they've had a bowl of dip and uh, don't have a single spot of dip on their pants. I don't know about you guys, but I always got more dip on my shirt than my pants. <laughs> yeah, we, we you know we uh, we used to do shirts as well. And then there was a bit of a, a split, a schism, if you will, in the company. Yeah, we used to be dip clothing. And now um, I decided to break off and create my own faction of just dip pants. <laughs> is there a risk of people jumping up on the table and like sitting in the dip knowing that their pants will not get dip on them you say right. risk i say that's a selling point that's the commercial right there is you can have a guy jump onto a table sitting in some dip and he has no dip on his pants that actually sounds like a really good advertising not gonna lie. yeah yeah thank you for that tom i will not be paying you but appreciate the input yeah, they have those bars where the stripper lays down and you do the jello shots or whatever. You could do that with dip, but with... <laughs> yeah, you can do with dip. That's the key, though. It only works with, with dip specifically. It's no other liquids or foods. Um, if you get any other liquids or food on it, it will stain. Um, it's only dip specific. <laughs> Unless okay. you dip something into that liquid first. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I have so many questions related to the thermodynamics of this chemical. What the ah, fuck? You guys it? just don't understand chemistry like I do. That's why I'm the CEO of Dip Pants Incorporated in Ramenstein. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why did you make it specifically so it wouldn't work on other liquids? Because, you know, I care about those little boys out there. They got dip on their pants. You can't get a job with dip on your pants. You know, I'm trying to, it's, it's, I'm all about helping people, Nolan. That's what I'm about. 
Somebody else can handle the, uh, oh, I got, you know, water on my pants. Oh, I got orange. I got pee on my pants. Somebody else can handle that. I handle dip. All right. Uh, Cam, did you recently spill dip on yourself? I may or may not have spilled <laughs> dip on myself. I can't tell. Was this a traumatic <laughs> incident that emotionally scarred you? And mm -hmm. are you okay to talk about it? You know what? Yeah, I've been going to a lot of therapy lately, and I think I can talk about it on this podcast with you guys. When I was about 10 years old, you know, my, my stepdaddy had a drinking problem. And um, he would go to work and then he'd go straight to the bar. And he'd come home and he would just take his anger out on my mom. One day me and my mom are just sitting there and we're, we're watching Legally Blonde as we do every Friday night. And uh, we're eating dip. <laughs> you know, she made her classic you know, Hormel chili with cream cheese, bean dip. <laughs> Got the Lay's waves, you know. And then he comes in, bursting through the door. You know, he's he's drunk as a skunk. You can smell the liquor off of him. He's throwing shit. My mom gets in his face. He pushes her down. And when he pushes her down, it knocks the chip out of my hand and the dip right onto my pants. <laughs> and the next day was school day, and I had I had to wear my pants that had dip on them. Uh, it was a, a picture day. The school the, picture the dip was on your pants. Yeah, they, the the p guy who took the picture. Yeah, um, he was actually wasn't allowed near school, so he had to take it from very far away. So I got a full body picture. I mean, my pants were in the picture and they had dip on them. That story is so traumatic on so many different levels. Yeah, that's why I have dedicated my life to make sure that doesn't happen to anybody else, you know? Did people write Dip Boy in your yearbook and everything? Yeah, they would call me Dip Boy. They would call me the Big Dipper. They'd call me... A little dip set. Uh, a little dip set, yeah. <laughs> well, your story your story moves me, but they don't help me with my traumatic backstory of being attacked by wolves every day when I, on my walk home from school. So I had blood on my pants. What are your pants going to do to stop blood? Listen, like I said, we, we focus on dip here. Maybe if you ate enough dip that you, you became part, you know, like your blood had a bunch of dip in it. Then when you bled, you know, they, it would come off because it had dip in it. You should just eat more dip. That's my, my point to you. I'm sorry. So your, your solution to wolf attack problem is to mainline ranchero sauce. That's exactly correct, yes. Well, that might help me with the wolves. Hey, if man, we don't want to the wolves because we yeah. yeah. I'll taste better. We're all about not having dip on your pants. That's what our mission statement is. That and helping the Russians. But that's the second thing. <laughs> I didn't want to assume that this was some kind of Russian stop to ruin <laughs> breeding potential of men in America. Mm -hmm. But now that you've said it, I feel much better in my immediate judgment of you. <laughs> You're in a Taco Bell parking lot right now. Are your pants covered in dip right now? They are not no. because I'm wearing dip pants. <laughs> oh, will you show us the dip pants as a, uh, you know, product uh, test? I could Maybe show you, but but then I would have barbecue it. on your lap and just let us watch it fall off like rain so, on a windshield. So your car seat is just filled with stains from when it yes. dripped off the pants onto the seat. Okay, yeah, here's yeah. A my floor is thing. covered in, in Taco Bell sauce. And dips Will and it stuff. not be awkward when you spill something on your lap when you're driving and it slicks off onto the chair and pulls under your ass? So then you when you stand up the and there's point. barbecue sauce all over not, your chair, it people doesn't will think you shit yourself. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't repel everything. It repels dips, guys. you got to be dipping something. And if you're dipping something, chances are you're not driving. Okay, you vastly overestimate my care and safety when driving. <laughs> Anything to add before we move on? Oh. Uh, did you test the uh, flame retardant abilities of, of, of these pants? Yes, we did. <laughs> Okay, and did you find that when lit on fire, the fleece lining of these pants immediately catches on fire and burns the wearer to death? There were a couple of studies um, that mentioned that, but, you know, we don't advertise that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe only the inside of the pants burn, yeah. so you yeah, still look cool while you're burning. Yeah, well, we don't sell the these pants fucking melted. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, they're not fire pants. We don't tell people that. They're dip pants. They only protect you from dip. They're not going to protect you from fire. So many warning labels. <laughs> Unless you put the fire out with dip. Okay, let's move on.
Um, <laughs> what do you so got? Idea. That was the longest I've ever gone on a bit like that. I was like, oh my God. This has been a production of Planet Amp Podcast, powered by Pinecast.